Hello everyone, it's Friday and Holy Week. Good Friday. Today our reading comes from the Gospel of John. John chapter 18, verse 1 through chapter 19, verse 42. Due to the length of the passage, I have decided not to read it to you, but I commend it to you and would encourage you to read it at some point today. Again, that's John chapter 18, verse 1 through chapter 19, verse 42. As we commemorate the death of Jesus, Jesus' crucifixion, our Lord and Savior dying on the cross, it's challenging. For me, Good Friday always feels heavy, and in our current reality, it feels even more so. But as we read through the events that led up to Jesus' death, his trial, his betrayal first, his trial, his death, his disciples taking his body broken off of the cross, it begs the question, how can it be good? How can this be Good Friday? I was searching for words today and I was at a loss because I think our current reality feels very much like Good Friday. Um, but I was reading through the Passion story and I saw in, in one version the words of Jesus, his final words, came from a psalm, a song. And there's a song that I've been listening to and I would like to share some of the lyrics with you. Uh, and I'll explain why. The words are, Let me see redemption win. Let me know the struggle ends. That you can mend a heart that's frail and torn. I want to know a song can rise from the ashes of a broken life. And all that's dead inside can be restored. Because I'm worn. I think one of the reasons Good Friday is so uncomfortable is that we are an Easter people. We spend most of the year living in the resurrection, in the hope of what is to come, in our world, in the next, in the kingdom of God. And then we are faced with this. The imagery and the ideas that our beloved teacher, the man and the God who teaches us to live, could have been tortured for our sake. How is it good? I share the words of that song because I think it expresses the longing that we feel right now, at least that I feel, the longing for Easter, for new life, for a fresh start. It's even harder not being able to commemorate this important day with you. But Jesus' disciples remind us it's okay to grieve. Suffering is real. The sorrow is real. Feeling that loss, the loss of our Savior, for just a moment, makes Easter that much sweeter. So take some time today to sit with the reading, to think of the story, pray the Stations of the Cross, whatever you need to do. And remember, it's Friday, but Sunday is coming. We are an Easter people. We won't stay on Good Friday. All shall be well. Take care and blessings.